ambient music is, uh, Brian Eno said, it's, it needs to be as interesting as it is ignorable. <laughs> so it's a music that it can repeat, it can sit. It's not, you can come into it maybe two minutes in and still be sitting with the music. Not symbolism, but what fingerstyle does is it covers a bigger range on the guitar. So oh, okay. instead of just strumming, usually you do that when somebody's singing. But with fingerstyle, you can cover the melody and the chords at the same time. It's all written by inspiration or, or from years of using your ear. Yeah, um, you're very knowledgeable. I, I, I don't read notes. I don't, I can, but I, I don't. Um, I know the basic theory of, of chord structure and I can build chords, I can build scales around the chords and that sort of thing. But I'm not notating what I'm writing. Okay. So it, it is, it, it's a mixture of improv and um, just past knowledge. And once you have inspiration in one chord, then your ear goes to what comes next with the melody or, or right. the chord. Right, right, yeah. Um, now also you talked about finger style. So I don't just do finger style, I do electric guitar, and I have a looper, which is something I can, anytime I punch in on it, I can record, punch out, it'll play back whatever I recorded. Mm -hmm. And then I can layer and layer and on top of that. So some of the improv is based on looping. My hope is that the music helps draw somebody into that space. Like a meditative state of mind? Um, it can be. I think it's different okay. for everybody. Okay. It can be as, as, as simple as just quiet or um, focus. Mm -hmm. But I think it's also, you know, when we think about God, we think about this mystery and we think about love and goodness and all these things. And I hope the music conveys kind of all that together. There's people with busy lives that want to have something to quiet them. I've, I've had. A lot of people who've, who have the music have told me they live with it. So it's not like where you just pick a song off iTunes and play it and then they actually sit with the music and it becomes a part of their lives and they listen to it at, you know, maybe certain times a day or throughout trips, you know, they'll tell me, hey, I took you on my trip with me, you know. So it's, um, I think it's, it becomes a part of their life more than it's just uh, a song to listen to. Yeah. Hmm. Probably all those, all those things. Um, nature definitely. Yeah. I. My church or cathedral is outside, hiking or any kind of open space. Um, in terms of music, in terms of artists, I do have a wide range. I've I've spoke of a couple of guitar players: Steve Hackett, Steve Howe, uh, Phil Keggy, another finger style guitar player, amazing player. Um, but I think now I'm more influenced by by um, choral music, modern classical. Why is the earth moving around the sun?